Good afternoon to all. In the previous lecture, we were discussed about the basic of LTM, where uh, mechanism, machines, machinery, kinetics, kinematic, static, dynamic. And after that, we will proceed for the link, pair, chain, condition for different uh, condition which can satisfy the is it chain or not for that l is equal to 2p minus 4 that we discuss and, and parallelly another equation j is equal to 3 by 12 minus 2 after that uh, it may divide in log chain or constraint chain or unconstrained chain different kind of joints and then <coughs> degree of freedom uh, movability, mobility, then uh, difference between structural mechanism, whose big criteria, its application, then uh, talk about inversion, where uh, for bar slider crank chain and double slider crank chain we are discussing. After that, uh, for bar chain mechanism already we discussed the how for bar chain mechanism inversion can generate. And for that, already we follow the whole practical session. If you are not uh, able, then please refer my last previous video at where I will, uh, I am trying that uh, how we are generating the all the forward chain. <clears throat> now, currently, we talk about the exact straight line mechanism. As we discussed earlier, that uh, if we talk about straight, exact straight line mechanism, then it may be based on two points that is, turning pair and uh, sliding pair. If we talk about the straight line mechanism, then it may divide into two parts straight line with exact mechanism and straight line, but it's not exact, then it not on approximate straight line mechanism. Now, <clears throat> exact straight line mechanism is dividing, that is, that is mean approximate straight are dividing for type, that is, grasshopper's mechanism, robber's mechanism, mechanism, and toche base, base mechanism. Now, we are discussed one by one in detail. We start with the peculiar mechanism. Start with the exact straight line mechanism. Can you just refer the figure? Current figure. If you see the figure that uh, I show you with the clicking, which may be very easy for you. Here, O, O1 and other links are joined with O and O1, while O, O1 is the fixed link. The pin at A, the pin at A is constrained along a circular path. Pin at A is constrained along a circular path with the fixed diameter on, on that time, the diameter is OP. And driven link is O1A, okay? The path is from O1 to A and the diameter is OP. If you see the figure, then in current figure, we have A is equal to, you can just see here, AC is equal to CB and AC is equal to CB is equal to BD is equal to DA. Okay, it means AC, BC, BD, and AD are equal in length. And same way, the diagonal, sorry, same way the links which are joined with the fixed link that is OC 
and OD are equal, OC and OD are equal, and OO1 and O1 O in equal length. When O1 A, when O1 A rotates, on that time the product of OA, the product of OA and OB is remain constant and it may behave as a straight line condition. Okay. Understood. I repeat. When O1 A rotates, when A rotates, the product of OA and OB are behave as a straight line condition. And that's why the name is known as a specular straight line mechanism. Okay. Now talk about the next mechanism that is hard. You can just see of heart mechanism. If you see the figure, then there, uh, whenever we talk about the heart mechanism, then uh, that link F E is equal to C D. Here C is there. F E is equal to C D. E C. Now talk about diagonal. Then E C and F D. And G O. You can just see here G O and G A. Okay, in this way there are total six number of links. I repeat, F P and C D both are equal, E C and F D both are equal, and G O and G A both are equal. Okay, links are arranged in this way due to that the trapezium F E D C having and FC is this is C. FC is parallel to ED. Okay. Point A, point O, and A. You can just see here point O and point A on the links FE and FD. Point O and A are on the link of FE and FD. And due to that, we are Taking the ratio and that ratio is equal to F A upon F D. Please refer the figure properly. F A upon F D is equal to, I repeat, F A upon F D is equal to B C. This is B, this is C, B C upon B E. E C sorry B C B B C upon C E is equal to I repeat B C upon C E is equal to F O upon F E. Okay, it means that O A rotates. It be, it means that when O A rotates. About point G. At that time, point B. At that time, point B moves in a straight line, moves in a straight line, and it may be perpendicular to the OG. Okay, you can see here if I extend that line, then we are considered that point Q. It means OB is. We have as a straight line and perpendicular to the OG, OQ. Okay. Now we are, if, if we want to prove this thing, then we are uh, just see here the two triangle. Triangle, you can see here F E C, F E C. Okay. F E C and O E B and O E B. Okay, there are two triangles. You can just see here F E C and O E B. If we are taking the ratio, then we are considered that F C. I just show you the ratio. If we are taking the ratio, then yeah, 
एफ सी डिवाइड बाई एफ टी इज इक्वल टू ओ बी डिवाइड बाई ओ और वी कैन से दैट ओ बी इज इक्वल टू वी आर गेटिंग दिस इक्वेशन एंड सेम वे वी आर गेटिंग इक्वेशन फॉर ओ एके आई रिपीट आई शो यू द डायग्राम सो इट मे बी वेरी क्लियर इन योर माइंड दैट फॉर ट्राइंगल एफ ई सी ट्राइंगल एफ ई सी एंड अनदर ट्राइंगल ओ एफ सी अपॉन एफ ई आई रिपीट एफ सी अपॉन एफ ई इज इक्वल टू ओ बी अपॉन ओ और वी कैन से दैट ओ बी इज इक्वल टू एफ सी मल्टीप्लाई बाई ओ इन टू डिवाइड बाई एफ ई एंड सेम वे फॉर अनदर ट्राइंगल ई एफ डी अनदर ट्राइंगल यू कैन सी ई एफ D and O F A and O F A. Okay, same triangle. Which whatever we discussed for the uh, previous side, same way for in uh, first side we are U C. Now we are U C D. So we are get F E upon E D. F E upon E D. Same way what happen? F O upon O A, so O A is equal to F O into E D divided by F E. You just see here, so you may get the idea, right? Now we are multiplying this both the equation, equation number one point eight and one point nine. So O A into O B is equal to what happened? Definitely. एफ सी ओ बाई एफ ई इन टू एफ ओ डी बाई एफ ई राइट बट वी इफ वी आर सेपरेट द एफ सी एंड ई डी इफ वी आर आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग इफ वी आर सेपरेट द एफ सी एंड ई डी एंड रिमेनिंग थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो सेपरेट विद द्रैकेट देन वी आर सेंग दैट आई जस्ट शो यू यस F C and E D I separate and remaining I separate with the uh, block. Then I can say that this block is known as a constant, or we can say that O A into O B is equal to F C E D into constant. Okay. Now we have to find F C into E D. I just show you the figure. We have to find F C and E D. You can just see that the C M C uh, to find that we are we are drawn parallel line C M, which is parallel to F E from point E, and also draw the another C N. C and which is perpendicular to E D. Okay, so we can say that F C and E D. The multiplication of F C and E D. F C sorry, ha. Huh, F C and E D are equal to E M. Are equal to E M and E D. E M and E E D. Okay, now once again we have to find that what the F C and E D. We know that F C is equal to. You can see here F C is equal to what happened? E N minus. You can see here this is F C. So F C is equal to what happened? E N. Minus M N and E D is equal to what happen? E D is equal to E N plus N D. Okay, E N plus N D. But we know that M N is equal to. But we know that M N is equal to N D. So in place of M N, we are put N D. You just uh, See the diagram. 
yeah i can show you here fcd is equal to emed right now we talk about fc and ed as per shown in the figure we can say that fc is equal to en minus mn right and ed is equal to en plus nd so en minus and we know that mn and nd are equal so in place of mn i put nd so this is the equation that we are getting so we can say that fc into ed is equal to E square minus C N square minus C D square. So F C into E D is equal to C square minus C D square. That is only remaining. It may be cancelled. C N square may be cancelled. It means the length of C E and C D are fixed. You can see here in the data the length of C E and C D. The length of E and CD definitely both length are fixed because it may not drawn with the dotted line. So both line are fixed. So we said that FC into ED is equal to C square minus CD square, and definitely both are constant. So we can say from this equation, actually we have to find OA into OB. Okay. Uh, that is equal to constant, but for that these two are yet uh, not prove that both are constant. So initial value definitely we are prove that uh, these things are constant, but yet this may vary. So now we have to prove that F C into E D also constant, and for that we are follow this mathematical view, and based on that at then we are conclude that. F C and E D also constant. Okay, so we can say that O A and O B, the multiplication O A and O B is constant. Means that it is the mechanism is fixed at point O and the point A is constant to move in a circle with center G. With center G, then. The point B will be trace a straight line. Okay. Now third one is the Scott Russell mechanism, as shown in figure. Mechanism consists of three movable links. Mechanism consists of three movable links OA, which is known as a crank, PS, and slider S. And slider S moving along OS. The links are connected such a way that the all three links like AO, AP, and AS are equal. If we draw a circle with center A, if we draw a circle with center A. Passing through O, P, and S. Passing through point O, P, and S. Then P, S will be the diameter. Then what happened? Then P diameter at point O lies on the circumference. We know that the point O is lies on the circumference. Of a circle and P S is the diameter, and P S is the diameter. The angle P O S, then the angle P O S will be the right angle, and which is the condition? Which is the condition? For any point. With respect to point S, okay, the point P O S is right angle or perpendicular. These are the three mechanism which exactly follow the exact straight line mechanism. Now talk about the approximate straight line. If we talk about the approximate straight line mechanism, then there are four mechanism. Very easy. Very easy. So we are trying to cover. If you want to modify the Forbach chain mechanism, 
then we are generate the approximate straight line motion mechanism okay the first one is the grass hoppers mechanism in this mechanism which is a modification of previous one that is called russell's mechanism which is replace here is the slider with turning pair okay slider with turning pair you can see here consider a four bar mechanism in which O and O1, in which O and O1, O and O1 are the fixed point. The link OA, the link OA will be oscillate about O. Okay, the, this may oscillate in this way as it may drawn with the dotted line. OA, o, A1. Which cause the pin P, which cause the pin P move along circular arc to P dash with center O1. Okay. When it may oscillate in this way, on that time, this O1 point is oscillate in P2, P dash. Due to small angular movement from P2, P1, P dash, point Q on the extension of the link PA. Point Q on the extension of plane PA traces an approximate line that is Q Q dash. Okay, which may extend. Uh, if we are extend this line up to Q, then Q Q dash we are getting that the length OA is equal to OA is equal to AP square AP square divided by AQ. Divided by a q. Okay, so it is known as a approximate mechanism for uh, regarding grasshopper. Now, next one is the Watts mechanism. It is very simple mechanism, as you can just see in the diagram, in which O A B Q, O A B Q, is a cross four bar chain mechanism. Well, the center is O and Q. If point P is on the link, if point P is, if you consider that the point P is on the link AB, if point P, if point P is on the link AB, as I as I show you initial that O A B Q. If on A B the point P is there, due to that the ratio of P A by P B and Q B by O A and P A by P B and Q B by O A are same, then from oscillation from OA and OB, OA and OB, oscillation from OA and OB, trace an approximate straight line. Okay, then it may be, it may shown you with the dotted line, it may be approximate straight line mechanism. Now, next one, which is Robert's mechanism, is also a four bar mechanism which consists of four links. You can see in, in the diagram that AB, BC, CD, and DA. Okay, the links AB and CD having equal length, link AB and CD having equal length, and AD is fixed and AD is fixed. When the mechanism reach to its mean position, it has a trapezium. Okay. In this mechanism, a bar theta one p is a bar theta one p is rigidly attached to the link BC in the middle. In the middle. When the mechanism is displaced, point P will trace on approximate straight line shown 
by dotted line. Okay, when the mechanism displays, you can see with the dotted line that we are generating the near to straight line mechanism in robots mechanism. Now, last one that is T Chebby Chips mechanism. Actually, we have to prove every time that it may approximate straight line mechanism. The last one is as shown in figure the A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D. A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D are the four links. If the links A, B, and C, D are of equal length, if the link A, B, and C, D are of equal length, the point P is midpoint of BC. The point P is the midpoint of BC, which is trace an approximate straight line parallel to AD. Okay, parallel to AD, we are get the approximate straight line. Okay, we are generate the mechanism. These four are the mechanism where approximate straight line we are consider. Exactly straight line we are not get, but we are getting the nearer to the. Uh, straight line mechanism. So these are the mechanism. Uh, you have to refer once all the mechanism. Very important. Now uh, we are next time discussing some extra examples. So if you have any query in straight line mechanism, then you may contact or you may comment. Thank you.